Hi everyone, I'm Kara O'Donnell and this is your Reston Minute. And as you can see, we are here along the trails of Reston. We have 55 plus miles of paved trails and pathways. I'm here today with Mike Reynolds. He is our new environmental director. And Mike, what really does make Reston's tree canopy here? We see it just so special. It, it's a really, really unique thing that Reston has almost 50% of its forested areas uh, still here, as opposed to so many other areas that are developed in Northern Virginia. Forests are incredibly important. We always know about it for shade. We know what it does for our economic values of our homes, but they're also huge climate sequesters. They're also uh, very important for water quality, for air quality and of course just returning clean water back into the water cycle. And in terms of keeping that green focus, that sustainability initiative, just how important is this tree canopy? The, the tree canopy is extremely important and right now it's actually fairly threatened. Uh, climate change is changing the way species can come back. We have uh, a deer overpopulation problem in the Fairfax and Northern Virginia area. We have invasive species, something like uh, oriental bittersweet or Japanese honeysuckle or uh, kudzu vine if you know what that is and we try and manage hard. The good news about RA as you know Kara is we have a certified arborists and team on staff. Mm -hmm. We also have a set of really skilled biologists and ecologists that are out there and you can get a hold of all of them at natural areas at reston.org. And tell me about some of the things that that team is specifically doing to ensure the sustainability and the health of this tree canopy. Yeah, just like in your own lives of taking an inventory, we're trying to figure out the inventory of our forests right now. We're trying to understand which species might be aging out and what we need to do to replant some. And we're also uh, understanding the health and the status of each of those different parts of the forest. When you go out and take a lovely stroll this afternoon, just kind of look around you and you realize you have really old and aged trees and you have brand new seedlings coming up, just like, uh, just like our families, right? Growing at different ages.